he'll be my helper. Hi guys. So I want to talk a little bit about maintaining the dog's coats. Um, <clears throat> and I want to show you how you deal with a, a, a mat as well, because we have quite the beautiful one going here. Um, the first thing I want you to know is that these dogs generally don't mat. However, people, <laughs> we put mats in them. When we pet them, imagine your own hair. Sometimes people will just kind of numb out and they'll pet back and forth like this. If you did that to your bangs, you would get knots. So we cause a lot of the matting and they're in very common places. This is a really common spot right here at the back of the crown of the head um, by one human in my home who shall remain nameless. And then right behind the ears or in the ears, like people will rub their ears really hard fat back and forth. Um, and then another really common one is like right where their, their rear legs come out have bloody. People like pet them there a lot and give them um, those are the really common ones. Also up in the chest, just any place where people normally pet, that's where you'll find the mats. There is one time, these guys don't shed, they molt, um, but the only time that you really have to watch with these guys is when their adult coat is coming in. Hi, Carly. Carly, jump in and say anything if I miss anything. Um, and their adult coat comes in usually sometime between like 10 months and a year and a half, in my experience. Um, so that comes in at the base um, and during that time it's smart to keep them short in the summer I cut my guys down to um, half an inch which is pretty short but my husband likes he's he's very talented and gifted at, at uh, putting in knots um, so it just keeps us ahead of the game um, so I would recommend a half inch during that and then you're gonna need to brush them thoroughly when you brush this one's on my website. This is the Paws Brother. I love this brush. It's, I think, like $13, and it's, it's wonderful. Stay here, Creed. When we brush like this, we're just getting the top of the coat. You can watch outside, buddy. We're not getting down to the base. And I made this mistake with Gracie, was my first girl. And I took her to the, to the groomer the first time, and they're like, she's filled with, with mats. And I was like, no, I brush her every day. And they were like, yeah, no, you don't, actually. <laughs> So this, it makes the top of their coat look pretty. Creed has a massive mat right here, which some of it will have to be cut out, actually. I can brush right through it. You won't even know that it's there. Um, this brush, I believe I also put this on my website, also by Paws Brothers, um, will go deeper. But you want to do what's called line brushing. Line brushing is, okay, there, I know there's a mat here. And you'll get good at feeling for mats. If the hair feels bushy and not, doesn't go flat there, there's a mat there. See, you can't see it, but I know it's there because I can feel it. So line brushing is you put a part in the hair. Creedy, he's moving far away so he can look out the window. Let's see if we can bring this closer. He's going to watch Emmy, the neighbor dog. So line brushing, you're going to part the hair. And you're going to be able to brush all the way through both the top and the bottom of it with that brush. Now, when there's mats, there are several ways to get rid of them. The brushes I use get through a lot of them. And I switch brushes a lot because different ones do different things. This one is also on my website. Oh, I think this is called the K. I'm not sure. These are Chris Christensen brushes, which I love his products. Um, and this is the small one. My, the, oh, sorry, you guys can't see. This is one of my absolute favorite for mats. <laughs> Creed's like, don't stop, please. So I make a part and I'm brushing. And so a lot of times this will get small mats out. And if you're brushing, when they're in that shedding period, you really need to be brushing every day. Um, when they're not, if you're brushing a few times a week, you're generally fine and you can catch stuff unless you have a very talented not maker in your family, and then you need to be. I literally daily feel for those spots with my guys when my husband's home. Um, so the line brushing, again, I'm getting through both, and uh, I part the hair, and then I brush both sides down, and then I make another little part, like not even, a, not even an eighth of an inch over, and I do the same thing. Does that make sense? And you can, you can, there are YouTube videos of line brushing. So I just made kind of like ladies, when you get your hair colored, how they make those little, they make a little part and they color it, make a little part, color it. You're doing the same thing. You're making that little part and you're brushing both the top and the bottom. 
actually can use a comb will help you better. You also know the mats out if you can get a metal comb through it, um, which I'm getting stuck right there. Now, sometimes I will cut a mat out. Like if it's gonna cause the dog pain, to me it's, it's not worth it. Um, but sometimes you can get them out too. Um, oh shoot, I hope I, I do, okay. So I have two tools I use for mats and usually create lace down and sleeps through this. This one, which is on my website, so you can see the back of it, and it's kind of got, they're like actual like spikes. And then this one is, again, Paws Brothers. These pins roll, and each one does different things. So I've, I've done my line brushing there. I, I brushed through it with the brush, and it was good, and now I'm going to double check it with this. And we're doing well, and Creedy's not helping. So I'm hitting a mat, and I don't want that to hurt him. So a lot of times I'll hold the base of it. Um, to turn this way to get that. So this one will actually cut through. And I'm very careful. Let me make sure you guys can see how I get it out. You're moving your head a lot, little mister. Thank you for the kiss. He says, Mom, I'm tired. Um, so you just keep going through it. And you can use those tools, alternate back and forth between them, you know, cut out a little piece if you need to, especially if it's down to the skin. Um, then it, a lot of times it needs to be cut out and or shaved out in that spot. I'm not a fan of shaving dogs all the way down. Good boy. It's extremely painful for them. Um, extremely painful to be that matted because it's pulling their hair all day long. Ladies, when you've had a ponytail in too long, you get that headache. Probably multiply that by 10. And that's what it feels like for them when they have these knots these mats so here's the heart of one of the mats so I'm holding it I can't tell if you guys can see because the words there um, so I'm holding it underneath so he's not feeling and you can give cookies throughout this it helps to have someone else treating them yeah here's a hole it's literally just a straight line of very talented work um, if you have someone there giving treats that helps a lot if the dogs had it give them a break um, but to me, it's not worth, see now this one is going to go through and it's going to get the rest of that out beautifully. And I was working just a really thin area there that had the mat in it. And I'm parting it again, doing a little bit more line brushing. He's a good boy, Creedy. And then make sure you can get through what you just parted over. I need a bobby pin, Creedy. Hold your hair back. So this one is many different little legs to it. And mats will grow. They, they continually keep pulling in more hair with them and they get bigger and bigger and uh, it gets more and more painful. The other thing I'll say is when you're in that, that uh, adult coat coming in phase, um, it is, it, it's, it's very, very cruel to, um, not take care of them because it's extremely painful and uh it sneaks up on a lot of people so i'm trying to do a better job at warning people and it's different in each litter it'll be different when you know when that starts happening each puppy is a little different like elise was easily 18 months old before her adult coat came in and creeds was more like eight months old um eight to ten, probably ten probably closer to ten so He's able to sit here calmly because I'm not hurting him. And that's really a big key to it too. Um, but sometimes it just does get you, they get tired of being poked at and you want to look out, dear baby. Yes, she's a good boy. Um, okay, there were other things I wanted to tell you guys. Puppy coat, adult coat. So I'm just gonna keep working this. And then again, if I get a piece that's too close to the edge or to the base, or it's just too big or too sensitive, I just trim it out. I, I'm, a, I'm an expert at it. And a lot of groomers hate that, whatever. I would rather have my dog have a three inch weird hole on the side of their leg than their whole body be shaved. And that shaving process is really painful for them and it's really uncomfortable. And especially if you get groomers that aren't compassionate or good at it, it can, seriously hurt them. There was a lady on, there's a huge Denver Doodle page here, 
and up. So now I just uncovered another huge part underneath here, which this may have to be cut out. We'll see. Um, she had taken, her boy got really matted. His coat was coming in. She took him into a groomer and they uh, shaved him and they kept going. The, once, the raz once the buzzers get hot, which honestly they get hot really quickly, then that's how you get razor burn. And it's extremely painful for the dogs. You can even burn them. And this groomer caused him severe pain. The dog days later would just lay on the bed and moan and cry and wouldn't walk because he was in so much pain. They shaved his testicles to the point where they were so burned, they were swollen and uh, purple. And she had to take him to the vet and they had to put him on pain meds. Um, it's terrible. And I know Carly um, goes to a really good um, groomer in Chicago and they do a lot of Australian Labradoodles. And let me say this too, a lot of groomers will be like, oh, we work with Labradoodles all the time. These guys aren't Labradoodles. <laughs> a Labradoodle is a poodle in a lab and their coats are completely different than these guys' coats are. So if they say that, like that's great, but I guarantee you they probably have not done very many Australian Labradoodles. <laughs> My subject keeps moving. And they, you know, there's just a big difference. So, um, but Carly went to her, her groomer. She was just talking to them and they were saying that like, they understand, like, if, if a puppy, if a parent misses the first, you know, the adult, okay, sorry, bud, sorry, bud, okay, I pushed it too far, I sorry, I sorry, you want a cookie? Um, here, can you lie down? Um, and so she, she said that, like, they'll, the first time they'll explain to them, like, how painful that is, and you need to, you need to do what I asked, please, sir. Yes, that's a good boy, all the way, yes, good boy. <laughs> Elise came in because she heard the bag. <laughs> um, good boy. And she said second time, they'll like let it, they'll like let it go. But again, like they issue a stern warning, like how, how painful that is for the dog and everything. She said, if it happens a third time, they call the police because it's animal cruelty. So, you know, if it happens and you make a mistake, that's one thing, you know, we're, we're, we all did things when our kids were little that hurt them and we feel terrible and they survived mostly. But um, it, just to know, it's, it's not a little oops. You know what I mean? It's it's a really big deal for the dog. And like Hattie is getting shaved tomorrow. Um, and I like sent strict instructions. Um, she has to have lots of breaks. Um, don't don't shave the top of her head if at all possible. Um, cool, you know, the, the buzzers need to be cooled. Cause I don't know the groomer that the guardian's taking her to and that just really, really scares me. And groomers are really overbooked right now because there's so many dogs and um, so many doodles. And you like those treats, don't you? Um, and so they might be more tempted to just rush through it too. So just, I recommend when you're finding a doodle, <laughs> going on the Facebook pages for doodles in your area and finding, getting references that way. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, the other thing to make sure you are touching their tails all the time when, the, when they're babies and combing their tails. Um, cause if not like Gracie, I did not do a good job of that. And she despises having her tail touched. I mean, like it's an all out war. I'm working with her on it, creating a positive emotional response to it, but, um, and Creed's good about it. But again, they reach just like with doing nails. You don't necessarily have to sit down and do all the nails at once. Today I did Charlie's front nails and she was like, I am done. So we'll do the back nails tomorrow. Um, and with puppies, it's fine to do one at a time. Um, so you just keep working the area and then keep going back over it. But basically at the end, you need to be able to get a metal comb through it to know that you're all the way down to the base. And I, I like my guys, the tops of their heads longer because it's that's the Australian oh sorry buddy that's the Australian Labradoodle look I turned when I went to brush um but it does require just checking them out and I can feel it I'm but I, I didn't used to be able to shouldn't go for the kiss buddy thank you so that is 95% out I'm gonna give him a little break we'll see if he'll let me do this oh he says is if I can give you kisses mommy I'll do it and Elise is on the floor rolling let me show you this 
she does this. It's so funny in her late pregnancy. Yes, and this is all the hair because I do groom on carpet, which is not wisdom. <laughs> Elise, were you rolling around? You want to show everybody your belly? She says, no. <laughs> okay, Carly said, definitely keep them short when the coat is changing unless brushing, brushing multiple times a day to the skin. Learn from my mistake. Yeah, I remember that when uh, Carly had to had to shave Henry. His, I think we were all in mourning of Henry's little coat. Um, so anybody have any questions, let me know. Those products are all on my website. The other thing, when you wash them, I love the Life's Abundant Shampoo. It does an amazing job at helping prevent matting. They have that in-between bath mist, which is fantastic. <laughs> He's just gonna stare at me because he wants love. Um, the, because it helps prevent matting as well and just makes the coat nice and conditioned. But also use a good conditioner. I wish Life's Abundance had a conditioner. I use Chris Christensen's. Um, my favorite one is Ice on Ice. And then my second favorite is his Spectrum 10. And those do two things. First of all, they um, close the hair particles so it cuts drying down by 30%. Um, it is good to blow dry these guys. I have hair all over my face. Um, because that, um, it can help prevent hot spots. I watched a grooming seminar from them. I was like, what? Um, but it also just makes their coat lay smoother and it makes it fluffy and cute. Um, and then um, the other thing the conditioner does is it, it makes, it just makes it easier to get through their hair and gives them less knots, less matting. So um, I hope that helps. Carly, did I miss anything? <laughs> Okay, cool. I think I get a pass from Carly. <laughs> well done. All right, guys. And then other places they get mats too is their armpits. I keep that cut short, actually. And if they ever get mats in between the pads on their feet, that can be very painful too because it can pull. Um, so that I have a little those little buzzers that are on my website for like 20 bucks do a great job with that. Or you can take them in to a groomer too. Tweety, can you say goodbye to your fans? Nope, he says, give me a cookie, Mom. Elise, you want to say goodbye? See babies next week? Yes. Good girl, Elise. <laughs> she just wants the treats. <laughs> right? Are you here for the cookies? I had steak, a little bit of steak. And um, when she was at Diana's house, Diana gave her steak, like, all the time. Before she had her babies, when she wouldn't eat. And so now every time I eat steak, Elise is right by me. You're a good girl. These are, um, this is those Vital Essentials. I do trust this company. I love all their stuff. Um, and this one is Turkey Giblets. It's a very, very high value. So I keep that for grooming because they all hate when they've been on the grooming table for too long. They start to want down. The other thing that's nice with blow drying is you can blow dry their bangs back. And like I did that with Creed and Elise. Um, but then or Creed and uh, Gracie to blow dry it back from their hair, from their eyes. But then, um, then they played in the hose, which was kind of my fault too. So, all right. I hope that helps guys.